Internet Zone at Cisco Live Europe, and I'm here with one of my favorite European people, my friend Sotiris. Thank you very much. I'm Sotiris, Sotiris Karagiannis. I work for Space Alas in Greece, and uh, we're a system integrator working with Cisco very closely for many years. So your big passion is artificial intelligence, machine learning. Go back and tell us about when you got interested in that and what you're working on now. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Uh, well, I studied artificial intelligence many years ago, 25 years ago. Actually, I went to Edinburgh University to study artificial intelligence. So I was one of the first people in Europe to study AI. Now AI is a trend, of course, but it's also a thing that will change the future forever. And uh, I'm very uh, excited uh, about how knowledge can be captured and uh, also AI can give us more contextual information uh, from the collaboration and uh, for the future of work. So what resources do you recommend to people who want to be studying that now, who want to get ahead of what is going to be a bigger trend in the future? Well, I think one of the things that uh, people need to know is that uh, AI is not here for only taking their jobs. It's actually, okay, automation is happening, but also if uh, creativity and soft skills are built by people, they can uh, be more, um, you know, like useful in uh, enterprise environments. Of course, uh, we know that young people um, uh, don't like to, to work in uh, big companies because they think that startups are, uh, um, you know, crea more creative uh, at this point. But I think that uh, in the future we'll see uh, AI and blockchain as disruptive technologies helping people to understand more and be more productive. That's very interesting because, you know, in the past people thought phones were going to take their jobs or cars were going to take their jobs. So artificial intelligence, machine learning isn't going to take people's jobs as humans. We always need that human factor, right? Yeah, and to be honest, uh, young people have to understand, and I, I'm telling this to my daughter who's 17, that creativity and soft skills, empathy, um, you know, understanding diversity in the workspace is something very important. So uh, I'm very positive about the future and very uh, optimistic. That's so interesting that you said we have to have the soft skills, but then we also need to know how to program. So what do you recommend for young people? How do they get that balance of technology and humanity? That's a great question, actually, uh, because we're understanding that in the future, uh, you know, like 20% of the people, of, of students being in the school age now, they're going to be doing jobs that they have not yet invented. Uh, and uh, we're going to need a lot of upskill and reskilling people. Uh, and of course, understanding that we're going to live longer, it means that people have to have, um, you know, be working in their late 70s or 80s. And that's going to come, of course, in the future, but it means that uh, all the technology can help people to understand new stuff and also help them to uh, achieve more and have their uh, personal time for use with their families and their uh, friends. Well, so I, I'm on my second career now. I used to be in translation, now I'm in social media. I look forward to my third and fourth career. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you very much, Silvia. Good to have you Thank here. Thank you, guys. Bye.